All right, welcome back to part two of this tutorial. So now that we have our transport pipes, we can set up our pump. Now, oh, sticky keys. So, in order to make a pump, we need a couple of things. So first for our pump, we're gonna need a tank. There we go, now we have our tank. Now we're gonna need some other things to make this bad boy. We're gonna need a iron pick and we're also gonna need a wooden gear which we're gonna turn into a stone gear which we're gonna then in turn into an iron gear. So to make this pump, or this pump first, we need, it's the mining well, that's exactly, that's what it's called, we need a mining well. So we're going to place our ingots like that, pickaxe on the bottom, gear in the middle, and that gives us our mining well. Place the pump on, or the tank on top of the mining well, and now we have our pump. Beautiful. So... Okay, so we have our pump, and I'm here in the nether, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this over this empty hole. Now, you don't have to have it in a structure like this, it's just safer for, for my tastes. So we're going to come down here, now this probe is going to go ahead and protrude out, and it's going to hit that lava, and when we power this bad boy up, it's going to start producing, uh, pumping lava out. So for this demonstration, I'm using an electrical engine. I like the electrical engines because with what I'm going to be doing, it's nice to not have to uh, be monitoring this thing. I can, it can run on its own and it won't explode. We're using copper, copper cable to a geothermal generator and you'll see why I'm setting it up like this in a second here. Now, we need to put some lava in here. We're gonna fill this guy up with a little bit of lava so that he can start producing energy and send it into a sky here. Now in order to extract this, we're going to need those waterproof pipes that we made. We're going to put that one like so, and we're going to put a tank, um, I'll put the tank right there for now, just for this demonstration. Now we're going to power this guy on, and there we go. You can see it starts to pump the lava from down here, up through this thing, and into here. And now, that is the end of this part. So. Part, part one was the pipes, part two, we set up the pump. Part three, we're gonna make this pump automatic. We're gonna automate this pump so that it can basically power itself. So stay tuned for part three, which starting 